Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. <laughs> and the bands are pretty poor this morning. It's uh, 6.25 in the morning here in Clearwater, Florida. And there are a lot of things on shortwave besides the international broadcast. And this is one that I was hearing a few minutes ago, and now all of a sudden it's gone pretty weak. And that's WWV on 5... 10, 15, 20, and 25 megahertz. And it's in the category of utility signals or utility stations or whatever. Things other than international broadcast and amateur radio. Let me go to a website I found um, once again. I've known about it for a while. But this is Utility Planet. And uh, the Website address is <laughs> a little different, so I'll put it in the description or in a comment below this show. But this is provided by, and I forgot his name already, so let's go to the bottom. He writes for the Spectrum magazine, and his name is Hugh Stegman. And he's, he's had this uh, website for quite a while. And it's just tons of information about utility transmissions. He calls it Utility Planet. And he's, um, uh, here it is right here. And like I say, he has a column in the Spectrum magazine. But he has a wealth of information about utility transmissions, where to find them, um, definition of what it is, definition of most popular systems such as the Air Force Global Communication System. Um, and, and some of it's voice, some of it's digital information, uh, weather facts, maps are considered considered um, utility stations. I used to do a lot of that um, on HF. And uh, here's some databases you can get some some uh, frequencies from, uh, solar propagation data. He's got all these links, all nice, neat links. Here's, he's got utility recordings, so you can listen to. If you hear something that sounds kind of strange, you can listen to these recordings and try to match it up. Bunch of those. Here's, the, here's, here's where he talks about the radio facts, or what I call weather facts. There's one right here. And, and it's one of those things where, yeah, you can get this information now on the Internet or you can see it on TV. But it's just interesting to be able to receive it directly and decode it yourself. I've uh, Because of uh, the poor band connections on shortwave, I used to capture this this news here which was from Japan I can't receive it anymore um, I've even tempted to try to find a radio on the internet that I could listen to it that's over that way and just hasn't haven't been successful here's another fax that he was he has copied and now and down here he talks about using your SDR to copy some of these things. And it's just tons and tons of information. This goes on and on and on. He's constantly updating this. Uh, so check out this website. It's, uh, like I can say, I'll put the, um, the link to it in a uh, comment because it's kind of convoluted. <laughs> it's not what you think it would be. Or you can just do a search on utility planet and probably find it that way. So anyway, just thought I'd tell you about something other than international broadcast that you can attempt to listen to or copy or decode. Have a great day. Bye-bye.